It is said that cleanliness is next to godliness. Cleanliness should begin with ourselves and extend to our immediate surroundings and the world at large. Every small step that we take towards cleanliness will improve our health and that of Mother Earth. We, the Dazzling Stars, present to you a project to spread the message on this. Your teeth and wash your face, have a bath every day. Vishani, do you know that cleanliness keeps you healthy? You have to maintain your personal hygiene in any situation. Practicing good body hygiene helps us feel good about ourselves, which is important for our physical and mental health. Good personal hygiene is important for social reasons also. It entails keeping our teeth, hands and hair clean. Look, when we eat, food particles stay over causing to grow bacteria. So, if we don't keep our teeth clean, bacteria will make us ill and also we will lose our teeth to the cavity. Unhealthy gums can also cause our teeth to loosen, which makes it difficult to chew and to eat properly. We need to brush twice a day in the morning and before you go to sleep. Always rinse your mouth well after every meal. To maintain a healthy smile, visit the dentist at 6 months interval for checkups and clean. In our hands, dirt gets stuck under our nails easily and makes germs grow. When we take our meals, these germs enter our body and make us ill. Many germs, bacteria like COVID-19, rotavirus, Pinworms and influenza can, can be spread through our dirty hands. Wash your hands and nails before preparing or eating food. Keep an alcohol-based sanitizing gel with you. If you handle garbage, when you sneeze, when you clip your nails. Sweat and dirt in the hair may cause itching and dandruff. Pollution makes the air dull. If we don't keep our hair and scalp clean, we will be bald sooner. Comb hair neatly and remove knots and dirt. Apply oil regularly if needed. Wash with shampoo to remove oil, sweat, dirt and dandruff. Be clean and stay healthy so that we can have fun when our school reopens. Thank you. Don't throw a little, keep the place clean, do not litter public places. No one at home. Oh, mom has gone to the market. What to do?
Okay, meanwhile, I'll clean it on. I always clean it on my own. Let me throw this from the window. Orange peels, banana peels, papers, all are biodegradable. There would be no issue if I throw them. But the plastics, whatever, I have to clean this. What are you doing? Stop littering please. By throwing garbage onto the road, we are not only making the surroundings dirty, but also causing a lot of harm to our environment. Most organisms on planet Earth are dependent on its landmass for food and shelter. However, unfortunately, we are polluting our land and damaging the environment. Plastics from domestic waste and hospital waste are reducing soil fertility and ending up in cattle feed. In addition, infectious hospital waste acts as a biohazard. Industrial wastes are adding dangerous chemicals to the soil which contaminate the food we eat. Use of synthetic fertilizer and pesticide also put harmful chemicals in our food chain. Trees provide shelter to birds, prevent soil erosion and detoxify the environment. By cutting down trees, we are doing untold damage to Mother Earth. The solution to this problem is not unknown. We should avoid plastics and segregate waste for proper disposal. Use of green manure and afforestation are some of the ways to keep the environment clean. We must learn and practice to reduce Reuse and recycle to keep our Mother Earth smiling. Stop using cars, use bicycle, stop to smoke from factories. Ah, I am having stomachache. I must have been wasted plastic again. These humans have turned our home oceans into plastic soup. Either I ingest plastic or get entangled in plastics. How do we see turtles survive? When will these humans understand? See, the turtle is bleeding. The ducks are in pain. Oh no, the fish can't breathe. Do you know why? Because us, the humans, have contaminated the river water. This is a factory. All the industrial wastes are being thrown in the river water. Here, the farmer is spraying pesticide. Pesticides cause groundwater pollution. Here, a boy is throwing domestic wastes into the water and also one more thing sewage wastes from buildings and houses are being poured into rivers and ponds look 
plastics, wrappers and tin cans are floating in the river water. The aquatic animals are dying because of consumption of these toxic materials. Alas, the water is getting contaminated, hence becoming unfit for human use also. Look carefully, here an old lady is taking the river water for drinking. This is very harmful as it can kill humans and cause waterborne diseases like jaundice and typhoid. Then what to do? We can take some necessary measures like cleanliness of water. Access to clean water is a human right. Unclean water is unsafe for drinking. But do you know why? Because there are germs in the water that are harmful for our health. Then what positive measures can we take? To keep our household water clean, we can filter the water regularly and use purification and disinfection tablets. In community areas with factories, toxic wastes are released into water bodies. So what measures can we take? We can adopt environmental friendly industrial waste management programs and also refrain the disposal of plastics, solid waste and tin cans into water bottle domestic water cleanliness and sanitation measures. We can stop flushing sewage wastes down private and public toilets as they end up littering inlands and coastal waterways. We can also initiate color coding wastes for disposal. We may spread door-to-door -door awareness programs on WASH, wash, water, sanitation, and hygiene. We can also reduce, reuse, and recycle. In no offense, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched such Bharat Avyan in the year 2014. 2nd October. In the progress of Swachh Bharat, Avyan was to make defecation free. So friends, we should follow the rules and always clean our environment. Swachh Bharat Avyan Swachh Bharat Avyan is a cleanliness project run by the government of India. It was first started by our Prime Minister Shinarinda Modi on 2nd October 2014. Its main motto is to spread cleanliness and develop healthy habits among people. The main activities are building toilets for people to use, separating and sending waste to proper areas so that it does not remain in the open, making people aware that cleanliness is important so that we can all Keep India clean. This is our Swaj Bharat mission model. Here we can see our sweet home. Then we can see our father of the nation, Sri Mahatma Gandhiji, who in initiated cleanliness. Then here we can see our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, who launched Swaj Bharat Abhyan. In front of our house, we can see our two bins. Wet waste and dry waste bins. Across the road, 
we come to our toilet and school toilet our prime minister shri narendra modi open toilet all over india to maintain hygiene and to develop healthy habits among people school we should not only keep our house but our school clean too it is our duty to clean our classroom at the end of the session across the road we come to recycle building we should believe in three r's reduce reuse and recycle which helps us to cut down the amount of waste we throw away we can recycle cardboard containers newspaper and tin cans in into useful things it in this way we can have healthy and green environment so friends we should start practicing from now onwards jai hind and now we would like to hear a speech delivered from an event of stronger friendship brighter future in the world's largest cricket stadium in gujarat in front of 125000 people mr donald trump namaste trump namaste namaste i am donald trump this is such a great honor to be in india let me begin by expressing my gratitude towards my dear friend prime minister modi this nation is blessed with many treasures from the sacred ganges the golden temple and jama masjid it is home the most cultural heritage it is land of stunning natural wonders from the rugged peaks to the himalayas to the beaches of goa the strength of india lies in one lakh twenty four thousand beating hearts in the stadium and millions of people in this country i'm really impressed but measures taken by my dear friend mori against start and open defecation he named this as such barbaric abian i really liked it thank you india for the phenomenal welcome thank you friends it's our planet please don't throw it away thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you very much. Thank you.